I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of project management. Uh, in this session, I'm going to discuss project identification process. What are the major steps involved in a project identification? Okay, we'll discuss individually. So there are a few points which you need to go through that. Then you will come to know that what are the points to be considered before uh, like uh, finding out or identifying a particular project related to any other domain. Moving on to the discussion. So we'll follow the steps in the sequential order. First step of project identification is conceptualization. What do you mean by conceptualization? Conceptualization is nothing but the idea generation for doing any other activity. You, like we require an idea. I think you might have uh, found out a new idea like a fire extinguisher, a ball type, a ball type fire extinguisher. That is an idea, right? Similarly, uh, like a online food delivery. That is an idea because somebody has found out. Even KFC, you can see that who is the founder behind the KFC, how they found out the idea. Yes. So idea generation is very important. That is called a conceptualization. Okay, that's the first and the foremost you need to take care about uh, like a project identification. Because there are so many ideas, right? But I don't know whether uh, which idea will be viable or not. So the second step comes to screening of the project. That means uh, the some 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 cases for a, all idea will not work out. Only few idea will work out. So finding filtering out that particular idea that is generally called as screening of the project. Remove the non-viable project straight away. Else it becomes it it hampers to you. Correct. You have to remove. The project which is not feasible, try to uh, remove uh, on spot itself without any second thought. Third one is actually called identification of the project. Like uh, from that uh, uh, filter, filtered one, you take out the filtered one, go ahead with that. Like uh, you can go for planning, organization, like uh, developing, controlling, monitoring, etc. You can start. So that means identification of the project. Select only the viable project or a feasible project. Re reject other one. Don't think about the rejected one. Next is actually called after selecting the project, you need to go for like a pre-feasibility study. It may be like a technical feasibility, financial feasibility that I will discuss in the forthcoming session. Like a cost benefit analysis, what about the investment opportunity, everything you need to find it out. Similarly, you have to find it out the availability of technology and technology is the technology is available right now, whether good enough materials are available. Then what about the cost, whether the cost is feasible or not, because budget is very important. Okay, so we have to define the like a scope of the project. It should not like uh, over budget. Okay, it should be within the budget. Okay, you have to define, we have to make a limit. So sixth one is actually called the factors of production and possibility. Whether the good enough employees are available, whether the uh, like uh, good enough land is available for um, uh, doing the manufacturing. Okay, whether uh, good enough transportation facilities are available, like that you have to consider the factors of production. Next is called the profitability. Is there any scope for getting profit? Whether the business can be expanded and the future growth expansion, everything you have to consider. So these are the major steps which are involved in the project identification. So uh, this is one of the crucial steps which is concerning for a project selection. So kindly go through this step individually and uh, you can apply uh, whenever you are doing a project, whenever you are beginning with a project or whenever you are doing with an idea, you please apply these steps. Definitely you can have a success. So if you have any queries, kindly put up in the comment box. I, I, even I did so many case studies. If you require any case studies from my side, I can directly share with you. There is no doubt. So uh, kindly give your suggestion for the improvement. Thank you for so much for watching this uh, particular video. If the video is useful, I request you to share this video with your friends and colleagues so that let them get benefited. Also, I request you to like this particular video. Also, uh, if you want to get the similar kind of video, kindly subscribe. And also to get the notification, kindly put the bell button. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day.